Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Analytics Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 2, Creating Combination Charts and Custom Table Components. As you saw in the previous tutorial, we first have to create the underlying source report that feeds the dashboard components. In this tutorial, we're going to create two new dashboard components and one new report that will feed those new dashboard components. But before we get started, you may notice that your instance of Salesforce and the reports may not line up with the same information in the workbook. And you may also notice that my information doesn't seem to match your information. We've created a link that's in the description that will show you how to populate your Salesforce instance to look like mine. So with that aside, let's go ahead and click Reports to get started. We'll click New Report. We're going to select the Opportunities Report Type and press Create. And then we're going to apply some filters. All Opportunities is perfect for Show. Opportunity Status, we're going to change to Closed. And Range, we're going to set this to Custom. And we're going to change the date from 4-1-2014 to 5-1-2012 and 5-31. 2012. And you can see here that my close date is 5-12-2012. If for some reason your close date is different, just make sure that your close range or your custom range includes the close date here. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to group by opportunity owner. So in order to do that, we're going to change it from a tabular format to a summary format. I'm going to find opportunity owner and drag that onto the grouping area. And this is what I meant by, you, you'll notice that we have a few different opportunity owners. Yours may not have that at the moment. And like I said, if you want that, just click on the link earlier in the video and that'll teach you how. Now we'll go to Amount, click Summarize this field. We're gonna select Sum and Average and press Apply. We're gonna go to Show we're going to take off the details and we'll also take off the drop zone. That's again the field area where we create the grouping. And you can see here, here's our essentially our report. So now we're going to go ahead and press save. We'll set the report name to Sales Manager Leaderboard. We'll press tab to autocomplete, and then we'll press save. Now we're going to create what's called a combination chart. A combination chart allows us to plot multiple sets of data on one chart. This allows us to easily compare different fields of data. Also, creating a combination chart is a great way to make more fields of data available to a custom table component. This will become more clear as we create the custom table component on our dashboard. Let's get started by adding the combination chart. We'll click Add Chart. We're going to select a vertical bar chart type. This is also known as a column chart. For the Y axis, we're going to select Record Count. For the X axis, we're going to keep it Opportunity Owner. And now to create our combination chart, we're going to check Plot Additional Values. For the Display Type, we're going to select Line. And for the value, you'll see there's nothing under here but record count at the moment. We need to use a second access. So we'll check use a second access. And now you'll see the two summaries we created on a report. We'll select the sum of amount. And we'll press OK. And now let's save our report. As you can see, our combination chart allows us to show both the number of closed opportunities by rep which is the y-axis and the x-axis, and also show the sum of the amount of those opportunities. Again, here's the x-axis for the opportunity owner and the sum of the amount on the other y-axis. The ability to show multiple data sets is the benefit of a combination chart. As stated earlier, adding a combination chart also allows us to create custom table components. Let's do that now. We'll close out of here. We'll go back to the Sales Manager dashboard. 
and click edit. We'll drag the table icon to the second column of the dashboard. This one's the table. We'll click data sources. And you go to reports, my custom reports. And again, you can use the quick find up here. I'm going to drag the sales manager leaderboard report into the table. And notice that the table has two columns showing both the opportunity and record count. Let's go ahead and click edit. And press customize table. For the second column, we're going to choose sum of amount. We'll select sort as descending. And we'll also show the total. For the third column, we'll select record count. And we'll also select show total. And now if we had some pictures in our development environment, the show chatter photos would actually display images. We'll select the component data tab. And for the drill down, we'll select record detail page. This will enable each salesperson's name to become a link, and we'll press OK. Now let's fill out the header, title, and footer. We'll enter performance for the header. Closed deals leaderboard for title. And for the footer, we'll enter top five salespeople May 2012, and then we'll press save. If you want to simply add the combination chart to the dashboard as is, you can do that too. Let's see how that's done. We'll click on components. You can drag any component onto the dashboard. We'll go to data sources. We'll select the sales manager leaderboard and we'll drag that onto the component to populate the data. We'll select edit attributes. And then you'll see here, use chart as defined in source report. Click that checkbox and then press OK. And you'll see that our combination chart has been added. Let's add the header, title, and footer. For the header, we'll enter closed sales. For the title, we'll enter deals amounts by owner. And then for the footer, we'll enter number of deals and sum of amount dash May 2012 and then we'll press save. Now let's create another report. Sometimes it's nice to see what's falling through the cracks. We can create a report with what's called a cross filter that returns opportunities that don't have any pending activities. Let's see how that's done. We'll go to close, save and close. And we'll go back to reports. We'll go to the sales manager leaderboard report put in save as, and we'll name the new report Sales Manager Neglected Accounts Report. Enter in the description if you want to, and then press save. We'll go to here, and to customize report, you can see that we're in the Sales Manager Neglected Accounts Report and not in our previous report. We'll set the opportunity status to open, we can keep close date for the date field. For range, we'll use custom. And in the workbook, it's asking for current and next full quarter. But because the data and close dates may be in a different time period, we'll just adjust these manually. So let's send the to field the end of September. And here's where we add our cross filter. We'll click on filters. We'll select cross filter. We'll select opportunities without activities. And let's add an activities filter. And we'll select date equals, and we'll type in next 30 days. And then press OK. You can see that we typed in a phrase there. And for a full list of phrases that work, type in special date phrases in the online help menu. And that should give you a list of all the phrases. I'm going to actually remove the chart because it doesn't make any sense for us now. I'm going to run the report. 
And now we have a report that just answers the question, which open opportunities don't have any activities within the next 30 days? In our next video, we'll cover tutorial three, creating a matrix report with custom summary formulas. Thank you for joining us. Click to follow us on YouTube for more great content.